What is up everyone? I'm Justin Parnell and today's deck tech is goblins in a gladiator. But before we start generating goblins, help the channel out by taking a second to like and subscribe to keep seeing this sweet, sweet content every week. All right, you've waited long enough, so it's time to get goblin. Wait, that's, that's not right. It's goblin time. Nope, that also sounds super wrong. Do goblins have a catchphrase? So I want to cover three things. What cards the deck wants, how does this deck want to win, and what cards are critical to the success of this deck. So then what exactly is in this deck? What categories of cards does this deck want? The first category is cards that make goblins. And unsurprisingly, this is a pretty big category and one that makes goblins be able to swarm so easily. We'll start with baseline power and move up. Dragon Fodder, Krinko's Command, Goblin Instigator, and you see a pair of goblins all make a couple. Then we get to the continual goblin makers, like Krinko, Ten Street Kingpin, Legion Warboss, Pashalik Mons, and Squeed Dubious Monarch. Even Den of the Bugbear makes goblins. And finally, we have the big goblin makers, Siege Gang Commander, and the mob boss himself, Krinko. Speaking of which, we want our goblins to go fast. They got places to die and rocks to eat, so no waiting around. Cards like Goblin Motivator, Reckless Ringleader, Torch Courier, Goro Goro, Battlecry Goblin, and both Goblin Warchief and Chieftain all grant haste. We have a bunch of cards that can commit goblin on goblin crime. Well. That's assuming that our opponent's also a goblin, but when you're a goblin, everyone else is a goblin, so it's fine. Anyway, we got Volley Veteran and Basalt Ravager, Ember Hauler, Goblin Crater Maker, and Goblin Chain Whirler. A big reason that goblins are so good is they have a surprising amount of card advantage. Cards like Conspicuous Snoop, Herald's Horn, Goblin Influx Array, and Goblin Ringleader mean there is plenty of cannon fodder. And an even bigger reason why goblins are so powerful, or frustrating depending on which side of the table you're on, is the amount of lords they have. Metallic Mimic, Hobgoblet Bandit Lord, and Goblin Trashmaster are only some of the cards to give those gobos a boost. And always more resilient than they are smart, some of the best cards in the deck do both like Runevelt Hordemaster, Muxus, Goblin Grandy, and Vanquisher's Banner. And while we are a goblin deck, that doesn't mean that we're lacking in the burn department. We're still a red deck at heart, so really, take your pick. Just know that Lightning Bolt's available, so probably pick that one. Then finally, we have some generically good red cards, like Chandra Torture Defiance, Bone Crusher Giant, Ember Cleave, and Fable the Mirror Breaker, which Let's face it, happens to make two goblins as a nice treat, but not the reason we're playing the card. So how does goblins want to win? Well, unsurprisingly, goblins is an aggro deck, which generally means we want to kill our opponent as fast as possible. As such, the curve of the deck is pretty low. Most cards coming in are 1, 2, or 3 mana value, with only 12 cards consisting of 4 or more. But that's actually pretty slow for an aggro deck, so there's clearly something else going on here. Remember those lords we talked about earlier? Yeah, goblins have a ton of them. For the most part, these are your ways to win once you have a bucket of gobos on the board. As the saying goes, it's never just one goblin. Whenever you have a chance to pick a goblin to play, pick the card that gives you more goblins if it isn't a lord. That seems straightforward, but for goblins, strength truly is in numbers. That all being said, there is one goblin that truly is the best card in the deck, and that card is Krenko Mob Boss. But unlike goblins in 60 card non singleton formats, you will only ever have one Krenko, and he ain't coming back from the graveyard. There are some other powerful cards here like Muxus, but this isn't a combo deck, and Muxus is pretty random in a 100 card singleton. If you can help it, never play Krenko into a situation where he doesn't have haste. You only have one, and again, it's unlikely you can unkill him when he meets his demise. Play him into a card that can grant him haste immediately, or on a board where your opponent has a small number of cards in hand. I really can't 
overstate his importance to this deck. So what cards can you not do without when playing this deck? What are the must-craft cards with your wild cards? Fortunately, like most gladiator decks, Goblins is pretty forgiving in that regard. The thing that you want the most are the creatures that are goblins that give your other goblin creatures plus one plus one. And you want the creatures that are goblins that are going to find you other goblins or make goblin tokens. And notice I said goblin creatures for both of those. That's because there are other cards in the deck that kind of do similar things, but they're not as important as the creatures that are goblins that do those things themselves. And last but not least, the most important card in the deck is Krinko Mob Boss. He might be one ugly dude, but you gotta be prepared to win ugly if you wanna play with goblins. And we're done. So I rub two goblins together to make fireworks or more goblins. I don't really know which one it is. Uh, either way, thank you for the support. Thanks for watching the video. Follow me on my social media channels right here. And of course, like this video and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on great gladiator, commander, or other content. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Justin Parnell, and we'll catch you next time. It's goblin time. That just sounds so wrong. Surely there's got to be something.